Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the seven group winners competing for best in show at the 142nd Westminster Dog Show. The winner of the herding group, Border Collie, number 18. The winner of the Hound Group, Borzoi, number 22. The winner of the Working Group, Giant Schnauzer, number nine. The winner of the sporting group, Sussex Spaniel, number 11. The winner of the non-sporting group, Di Xiong on Frise, number 15. The winner of the Terrier Group, Norfolk Terrier number seven. <laughs> the winner of the Toy Group, Hug, number 15. These seven dogs, and among them, Betty Ann Stenmark sizing them up. The Border Collie has never won Best in Show. Borzoi has never won Best in Show. Same for Giant Schnauzer and for Norfolk Terrier. Could one of them break through? Michael? Best in show this evening will be judged by Mrs. Betty Ann Stenmark of Woodside, California. Our stewards are Mr. Sean W. McCarthy and Mr. David A. Helming. Congratulations to you all. Winning the group at Westminster is something very special. <laughs>
Michael. Originating in Scotland and England, the Border Collie is the quintessential herding dog. Their skill in working with sheep is without equal, and they are every bit as accomplished in the obedience ring and on the agility course. They have extraordinary work ethic and are best suited for the farm or suburbs unless dedicated city dwellers can keep the Border Collie busy with outdoor activity. This is Border Collie number 18. Slick being handled by Jamie Clute. Jamie says this dog's very chill. Hey. And very chill, and back at your dog. own speed. Seems and pretty chill tonight. At what yeah, speed absolutely. you would like going around, yes, please? Yes. Slick is national specialty winner. He's the winningest border collie in history. Around, please. Slicks owned by Ricky Johnson, Frank Bayless, and Ronnie DeLay. The Borzoi was once known as the Russian Wolfhound. This swift and powerful courser is treasured by Ro Russian nobility who hunted wolf in huge packs of a hundred or more Borzoi. The breed is still primed to chase anything that moves, but his kind demeanor and great intelligence make him a devoted pet as well. This is Borzoi, number 22. Girl. Okay, please, down and back at your own pace and whatever you would like going around. Okay. So one thing for everybody at home, Best in Show is very unique. They are actually judging the dog against their own standard, not against each other, but how they best meet their own individual standards. And of course, Lucy here is being handled by Valerie Atkinson. And when she retires after this show, she'll go back to Japan. around please and Lucy hoping to become the first Borzoi to win best in show representing the hound group a giant schnauzer arrived in Germany in the late 1800s he was almost without a doubt a herding dog but developed his following as a guardian and watchdog those three schnauzers the miniature shown in the terrier group and the standard and giant shown in this Country and the working group are three distinct breeds. This is Giant Schnauzer, number nine. Sorry. I know. Yeah, it's a good dog. down and back, not too fast, nice and then at your choice of speed going around, please. Ty very patient, top ranked coming in. He's the winning, top winning male giant schnauzer of all time. Saw the ro robotic camera and reacted. Ties owned by Sandra Nordstrom, Carol Mann, and Marianne Biseglia. We heard Betty and Stemmar talk about the pace. Right. She wants the dog to go at the correct pace for the breed. Each dog has its own pace. Beautiful. Stat. Perfect. Perfect. It yeah, looks great. And around, please. Yeah. Quick treat for cooperating. It's been a long two nights for these guys. The Sussex Spaniel earned its name from the county of Sussex in England, where it no doubt emerged as one of the oldest Spaniel breeds. This is a methodical, close-working gun dog that is particularly valued in heavy brush. The Sussex has a jolly and loving nature with a tail that is in almost perpetual motion. 
This is Sussex Spaniel, number 11. One of our crowd favorites here today, absolutely. <laughs> How can you not love that face? <laughs> okay, please. Bean is the grandson of Stump, who won Best in Show at Westminster in 2009. Down and back at your own pace and whatever you want to do going around. Thank you. His owners are Karen Ann Toner and Amanda Toner. It's being shown by Pear and Gary Smile. Betty Ann getting a little, rid of a little extra bait that's on the ground. Can be distracting. And around, please. <laughs> oh, there's a, the encore performance once again. <laughs> right, good pose. I got that routine down. <laughs> The Bichon Frise hails from the Mediterranean region, eventually arriving in France. The name means small dog with curly hair, giving the appearance of an animated powder puff. The Bichon makes a lively, jovial companion for all ages, and his popularity is well earned. This is Bichon Frise number 15. And would you show me the mouth, please? Thank you. Thank you. And Flynn, too, is also related to a uh, past Best in Show winner, seven generations back, JR, who won in 2001. Measuring the physical traits, all hey, these please. dogs are so well groomed. A little last minute touch up here. <laughs> Gotta fix them up one last time. Well, Bill McFadden knows how to how to win at Westminster. The dogs have to be in perfect condition, perfect shape, perfect performance. We've had one previous Bichon Frise win, best in show. Could win be the second? Well, they're going to go crazy, and here at Madison Square Garden, they show up on the TV screens here when there's a tight shot, along with watching the dog on the stage. We're on the carpet. Nice circle nice oh. around, please. The precise origin of the Norfolk Terrier is uncertain, but it is definitely British in style. In this country, both prick ears and drop eared terriers were called Norwich Terriers until 1979, when they were established as two distinct and separate breeds. Show me the mouth, please. This engaging little drop eared dog is the Norfolk, a working terrier used as a ratter and also in tandem with foxhounds to bolt the fox. This is Norfolk Terrier, number seven. As much preparation that goes into the dogs. I think the judge goes through a lot oh, of preparation please. too. Betty Ann looks great tonight. And so does Winston. The Norfolk Terrier being shown by Ernesto Lara. Winston oh. on the move. Owned by Victor Malzoni Jr., Nancy Shaw and Pam Beal. Trying to become the first Norfolk Terrier to win Best in Show in 141 years. A nice circle around, please. <laughs> Betty Ann's going to have a tough job. They're all showing great tonight. There's little doubt the charming pug originated in China. From there, he made his way to Japan and then on to Europe in the 16th century, where he became a favorite of the aristocracy. Pugs are bold and confident, but with a sweet, sensitive nature. They're a sturdy toy breed with a particular fondness for children. This is pug number 15. Yes. 
<laughs> Biggie's standing patient, oh, waiting. Yes. Esteban Farias is handling Biggie tonight. They've had a wonderful year this year. He wants that bait. <laughs> a dog treat. Biggie's owned by Carolyn Ready? Cope. Ready? Lives with two Dobermans, but he's oh. in charge. I have no doubt of that. 11 best in show wins for the pug breed out of the toy group. One win for the pug specifically. Previously, could Biggie come up big tonight? And of course, with the Chinese New Year, yeah, a nice circle around the Ming, yes. This Front. breed that was originally from China may have a little extra luck. Friday on the Chinese calendar, the year of the dog officially begins. Of course, every year at this time in New York, it's time for the dogs. It's and always the, big the show. year of the dogs. Always. <laughs> every year. Here comes our crowd. This is when the crowd steps up. Yeah, and people at home, I, I wonder, too, who they are choosing to whittle down before naming. Well, there are seven beautiful animals out there. Incredible, incredible examples of their breeds. The breeders, owners, and handlers have worked very hard to get to this point in their dogs' careers. Some will retire after today. Some will go on and have puppies. Some may be back next year. And some may be back. And one will be celebrating at the end of the night. Can't get there fast enough. Some are patiently staring. All the way around. Come back to me in the middle here so everybody can see. Yes, ma'am. Please. going to send them all the way around. They're going to come back, and I think she's going to have them put on a little show for us right at the end. The judges love to see the dogs free stand, free stack, as they call it, see where the feet naturally land. Perfect. So far, so good. Thank you. Great to see all the dogs are having a perfect night tonight. You know, it it, ju it just makes it so much better when every dog looks its best. Of course, Lucy's been in this ring before. You know, some breeds aren't designed to do that. The Borzoi, this is, this is not typical for it, but she still wants to see where the legs end up landing. That's right, certain breeds are a little showier. Some may seem a little yeah, showier exactly. than others. But Betty Ann Stenmark knows the, all about the temperaments and behaviors of these birds. And this crowd, it sounds like overtime at the Garden. Yeah, this is where they come alive. Again, another oh. perfect stack. Well, they wait for moments like this to see that intensity. We have the best seat in the house. We do. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Not a foot wrong. <laughs> the crowd loves being chanting his name already. It's a long way around the ring for the little guys. <laughs> it is. It is. Those paws work at overtime. That's it. They take 20 steps to the bigger <laughs> dogs one. There's no avoiding it. 
Thank you. <laughs> Posing early for the uh, statue, the award later. <laughs> Put his feet right up on the trophy. Right. Let's see if Bill's dog can do that when he comes <laughs> back. It's oh, yeah. <laughs> got a hard act to follow, isn't it? Not for Flynn. It's going to flood around the ring. You know, this is so hard because there's so much adrenaline. The dogs are excited. The handler's excited. And so they really have to take one step back and slow down. Jason Hoke, Gail miller Bicher, Chris Myers. Glad you're watching live from New York here on FS1. Our judge, Betty Ann Stenmark, taking Thank some you. time. <laughs> And I mean, how how do you decide? Yeah, again, it's, you're not judging a dog against another dog, but in essence, you can only pick one. You only pick one, and it's based on who comes closest to their written standard and who's on time. That also me, is something I'm sure Betty Ann will consider. So far, you would agree that they've all been on. I, I think That's she's hard reverting part. back to that standard because she doesn't she doesn't have much choice as far as how they're showing. They're all showing perfectly today. The dogs feed off the energy in, here in Madison Square Garden. They know that they're loved and they know they're the center of attention. They're six for six. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And thank you. Just straight back, please. Betty Ann's got to be smiling to have all the dogs come out and look their best. And we have seven really experienced handlers here tonight that are steering these dogs, guiding them. And all the way the around, ring. please, and come back to me. Yes, ma'am. Guiding them around the ring and making sure that their, perform their performance is perfect. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I think he's hungry. This sellout crowd letting it all soak in and at times hoping their voice is heard to the one they like. So this is it. She's going to do one last walk, I believe. Tremendous responsibility on the shoulders of Judge Betty Ann Stedmark. Make no mistake, she loves every minute of it. <laughs> it's quite an honor to be called upon to judge best in show at Westminster. History making moment about to take place. going to go back to the judges table and mark her book. Yes and first she'll pick her runner up which is reserve best in show. That's not going to be easy either. No. <laughs> She's made her decision. And you can see that James Mortimer Memorial Cup the trophy. No big cash prize but a lot on the line. Pride. Respect. Part of history. This special event. The tension. And I judge best in show, and I'll tell you, when you're writing this in the book, that's the moment where it all becomes real. It's it's a great feeling. You've committed. <laughs> the way people are waiting anxiously on their gowns and tuxes, it's almost like the Oscars. And the dogs taking it all in. It's a good scene. Runner up gets the ribbon. 
Lifters are best in show. I love all dogs, both purebreds and crossbreds alike. But today is a special celebration of purebred dogs, the best of the best, purposely bred by responsible dog breeders. It's not on? It's not on. Yeah, that was good though. We heard it. We heard it. Is it on? Is the mic going to come on? We certainly could hear her on television. I think they're referring to here in the arena. Loud enough for everyone to hear. Michael LaFave sharing his microphone with our judge, our best in show judge. I love all dogs, both purebreds and crossbreds alike. But this is a special celebration of purebred dogs, the best of the best, purposely bred by responsible dog breeders. Reserve best in show at the 142nd Annual Westminster Kennel Club shall be the giant schnauzer. What a great win for Ty. Ty, the number one dog for 2017, wins reserve best in show. Will be number two. We're going to find out who's number one. Number two, but at the show. I mentioned the Oscars, you know, she's been waiting. She rehearsed her lines and delivered them well, even on the second take. <laughs> she did. She repeated She's the, been rehearsing she for did years great. for this great moment. All right, who's it going to be? She's down to six. Six beautiful dogs up there. She can't go wrong <laughs> at this point. I would like to thank the, the members of the Westminster Kennel Club, particularly Mr. McCarthy, Mr. Helming, and Mr. Bradley, for the honor of being here. It is a privilege to judge these seven magnificent dogs. Best in show at the 142nd Annual Westminster Kennel Club will be the Bichon Frise. Flynn! Flynn wins best in show. The second Bichon Frise to ever win best in show. Out of the non-sporting group, upsetting, in a sense, the number one rated dog coming in and a couple of other popular dogs like Winston and Bean and Biggie. Just shows you never know who's going to win at Westminster. It's champion Bell Creek's All I Care About Is Love. Owned by Petrina and Bruce Odette, Lindsay Van Curen, Lori Carlton, and Larry Letch. I mean, this was a dramatic decision, and I'm sure people at home are saying, well, wait a minute, I would have ranked this dog second or third on my list. What do you think the difference was? Well, I think today the dog put on a great show, and she obviously felt it met the standard perfectly today. I mean, these dogs are near perfection that we They see. all seem to appear that way. And Flynn, of course, was in the top five oh, all year. He's been a top-ranked dog. He's yes, he Bill was. McFadden as an experienced handler, knows how to bring a dog to its top, to the top of its career, and he's done it again. And now he stands on the podium. In 2017, the number one non-sporting dog... Flynn jumped right up there. He knows where he needs to be. Karen is standing by on the arena floor. Karen? All right, thanks so much, Bill. Congratulations. It is obviously every handler's dream to win at Westminster. What does it feel like? Well, it, it feels a little unreal. Um, I came in expecting nothing except hoping for a good performance, and I think I got it. And, and I knew that she would fall in love with one dog or three or four or five or six or seven, 
and um, it, it's just magical, you know? Absolutely magical. So what are the plans for Flynn after the show? I think I have would, I'll have to ask the owners, but I'm pretty sure I can drop the mic and say he's retired. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Thanks. That is a mic drop after winning best in show. It's typical for the tradition. There's nowhere else to go once you've won best in show at Westminster.